mind you to take a little bit better care of yourself. Hey Pisces, how you doing? Going to get into your reading here. This is going to be for November 14th to the 20th. So hope you guys are doing well. And um, these are general readings, so take what resonates here. And let's see what's going on. If it doesn't resonate, you know, listen to it as entertainment. Um, so let's see what energies, what messages are coming out here for Pisces. What messages are coming out here for Pisces. Be sure you check your moon, rising, Venus signs. And... Um, also, if you guys are interested in personal readings, that information is in the description box down below. So let's see what's going on here for Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces? And this is going to be November 14th to the 20th here. First card coming out is the Three of Cups. So Three of Cups energy. This is Cancer energy. But also, you know, Three of Cups is friends, family, co-workers, you know, your group, your friend, uh, your, your soul tribe, right? So maybe this is something here where you either have met some new new people here in your life or maybe you're around people here that you started to really realize that they're going to be there for the long term. Now this is also an energy of coming together and sharing creative ideas here. So maybe there's some new beginning here, a new start that you've been focused on and maybe you're talking to other people trying to create something. So we'll see how this, this reading pans out. But Three of Cups energy, this could could involve a friend or something like that here all right so let's see what's crossing you pisces let's see what's going on we'll get all the cards out we'll get the better picture on the story so don't want anyone already tuning out right now you know <laughs> it's, it, it happens you know some people listen for the first minute and they tune out and the whole message is is missed but uh but i get it i mean as a reader i gotta gotta get to the point for you guys i know i know i know i know let me see what's crossing you What's crossing you, Pisces? The sun, Leo energy here. Now, this could be involving, um, now it's crossing you, the sun. So this could be a uh, situation or something to do here with coming together with people. and Because the sun is about happiness. This is a, um, you know, this is also a sense of accomplishment too because you can see, um, it's like people are coming together here with ideas, trying to create something or something. It doesn't have to be like a project or writing a book or, you know, whatever you're you're working on. Right. Maybe you're coming together with people. Right. And maybe this is something about you focusing on something in regards to being successful at something. Maybe you do achieve something here. So maybe you've been working hard at something. And, and really uh, focused on saying, you know, I, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And, and you may have felt you know, something has not been there for you, or maybe things are not turning in your favor. But I kind of feel like there's celebration here, okay? So, I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Let's see the recent past here for Pisces. Let's see the recent past here for Pisces. I think you're just working together here, trying to make something happen to achieve something. Six of Wands. This is feeling victorious, successful, acknowledged for your work here. So it is a past energy. So it could be recently that you, uh, you know, your work has been, um, you know, focused on here. Maybe people realize your hard work and maybe you've received some appreciation here. Um, if you haven't, it's coming because Six of Wands is like, um, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like an audience back there. Um, you know, she's, she's, you know, taking it in. Maybe this is a promotion. Maybe this is, um, some sort of opportunity there for you, okay? Heck, this could be, you know, if you're in a work situation, I said opportunity, Page of Pentacles, maybe the, maybe your company's hiring internally and, you know, they you know they want to hire a manager and they want to offer, you know, their employees an opportunity here. Maybe you've been thinking about it and, and maybe someone has applied and it seems, the energy seems like, you know, it's moving into some sort of advancement here, okay? If it's not something with the work, but... Um, well, if it's not something in your work environment, maybe this is a idea, a project you're working on here, but I'm feeling success, okay? So a potential new opportunity. Let's see the focus here for Pisces. What is the focus here for Pisces? We have the Queen of Wands coming out, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Now, the Queen of Wands is an energy of you really having your eye on something. 
So you have your eyes on something here, Pisces. I don't know if you'll know what this is, but the Queen of Wands is a very kind of a celebrity type of energy. This is like, I get what I want. Um, you know, she can be sometimes a little bit too much, a little bit too, too, um, too demanding in a way. But at the same time, she when she sees what she wants, she goes and gets it, whether, whether whatever how she needs to do it, right? So she, you know, communication, networking, uh, you know, creating things around her to bring this opportunity towards her, right? So maybe you are working hard. Maybe you're showing people that you have the skills uh, that you can create something or, or be in this situation, right? So Queen of Wands, like I said, especially with the Six of Wands, I mean, I don't know. This is like a lot of people recognize you. That's what I'm getting. It's like, and I, you know, and I'm not saying it doesn't have to be hundreds and hundreds of people, but you know, if you have an online platform, maybe that's going to blow up, right? If you are in a work environment, maybe the employees start saying, hey, you know, you are, you know, thanks for helping me out. Like they really realize how valuable you are. So that's kind of what I'm picking up here. All right. Let's see the possibilities here for Pisces. Something shifting big here for you guys. So I would, um, I got that 11, 11 portal tomorrow. So it's an, it's a time frame to really shift you know, into being optimistic here. Um, the Queen of Wands, you know, especially Sag energy, they're being very optimistic of the future here. Um, so I feel like the you're shifting your energy into being more positive so things can come towards you, okay? All right, possibilities here for Pisces. Chariot, Cancer energy. It's also some Sag energy in there too. Cherry is a very fast energy moving forward, and he's he's feeling pretty victorious here too, because he's on his chariot. He's moving forward. He's moving quick. Whatever this, it could be like I said, new opportunity or a new, um, you know, a new environment here. But I see the page of swords, so this is something here that's new where you have to might you might have to learn something. Okay, maybe you have to do some research. Maybe there's there's this uh, you know, it's like. I don't know if I said this in, in your videos before, but just an example, if you get a new job opportunity, even if it's hired within promotion, we were just talking about that, um, you know, they typically give you like an offer letter, right? Be sure to read everything. Look at all the fine print, making sure that everything is covered, right? Because sometimes, you know, I don't see that in the reading here, but sometimes people do offer something, a lot, you know, a lot of money and stuff, but it's you know is money going to be worth your time too because if you have if you get a promotion and you're getting the raise that you're looking for are you do you have to work so much to where you don't have a personal life going on so i just feel be cautious of that because that chariot could also be an energy of uh, moving into something too fast without doing research and then i saw the page of swords okay so just heads up on that one that would be some advice on this this reading if it is if this is resonating for you all right near future here near future for Pisces the moon this is your energy also cancer energy here cancer energy there too with the three of cups so the moon is um, you know it, it is a card of awakening here this is a sense of um, maybe you saw this coming whatever this opportunity whatever this vision was for you um, this is dreaming so maybe you've been having vivid dreams um, but it's also you know getting in touch with your intuition too so you might be in this energy of um, pulling yourself back and really looking at this situation or opportunity and making sure that you move in the right direction. So, so I kind of feel like Pisces, you are, well, very intuitive. You know, Pisces has always been very intuitive anyway, but I feel like you're really tapping into something here uh, and, and it's creating something very nice here. So But I also pick up because I before I pull this card out too. I was just talking about looking into everything because the moon can also be about things you don't see. So maybe there is something here that you're not seeing as well. So, you know, I am kind of picking up a little bit of energy. This is not going to be for everyone here, but just be cautious of who you're sharing your ideas with that three of cups. So, just you know, if, if you are creating something like, um, you know, writing a book or something like that, you know, if you share your ideas to too much, too many people. 
then they might take your ideas and start applying that, right? Like your content is stolen, basically, right? That's kind of what it comes down to. So be sure that Three of Cups is your true soul tribe, you know? And how do you know this? It's 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 the way life is. There's no one, there's no stamp, there's no contract to say you're the soul tribe, right? But intuitively, you're going to know. And the Queen of Wands is also very intuitive. So you're going to know who your, your, your close friends, who your people you can trust, right? But even though you trust them, even though there's, you know, someone here that you don't have to worry about, it doesn't mean you have to share all that information. You have to keep things to yourself too, right? So I feel like that could be a situation where you might, you might encounter. Um, I just see the Five of Swords here. Now the Five of Swords is an energy also of, um, and I, I'm reading that with the moon here. It's like, you know, maybe there is something here that you are, you know, not seeing clearly, it keeps you in a confusion because that is near future energy, all right? So, I don't know. I'm picking up something about make sure you look into something, all right, Pisces? I'm not going to dig so deep into it, but like I said, if this resonates with you and someone here offers you a, a opportunity or position or whatever this is, make sure everything's kind of looked into because I still pick up an immature energy with that chariot. Not saying you're immature, it's just sometimes we we get these offers or opportunities and we're just like, yeah, we're going to jump into it. But we don't really look into what's really required, right? So, you know, last thing they say, companies go, oh, yeah, by the way, I need you to, you know, be on call for 24-7 because if something happens, you're the next one in line, right? So it's like, does that fit with your lifestyle, right? Just, again, these are just examples, right? So let me see in your power here, Pisces, what's going on. Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. So... In your power here, the Four of Wands is a card of stability. This could be a home. This is get-togethers, parties, family, right? So maybe you're just kind of focused also on, you're focused on something here to possibly um, improve your home home life here, your, your stability, right? So I do feel like something's connected with, you know, maybe things have been standstill for, for quite some time, and it's like now you're making some sort of move here to create something new, okay? Four of Cups energy, this is like, I was just saying, you, you're putting a lot of energy into something that didn't fill your cups, and it was like you missed out on an opportunity for quite some time, and that's the Ace of Cups in the back, and you're starting to notice that. So Ace of Cups is also an energy of new creative ideas as well, right? So it doesn't always have to be romantic. Um, so far, if you're following, so far we don't pick up any sort of romance coming for you. I feel like there's a lot of energy of making something happen, some changes. And it doesn't have to be always about work and you starting a new project. I mean, this could just be focusing on yourself, okay? Uh, maybe you just want some changes, um, you know, things like that. And whatever these changes are, it's, it's about your happiness here. It's about you feeling good, all right? So let me see your environment here. The Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So the Ten of Pentacles, again, your environment, we're just talking about stability, home here. Um, there's a focus on creating some sort of foundation for yourself, okay? Page of Swords again. Let me see this hopes and fears here. Hopes and fears for Pisces. That's too many cards, but I kind of want to see these here. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Fool. Interesting. So there's, there's um, you know, it's came out in your hopes and fears here maybe i'm going to take all three of these here but um you know you do want this new beginning you know there is possibly illusions but also too many options here and then the six of cups here there's a sense of reflection too so with this moon energy there could be something that you're looking back to you know just your journey in general but also this is a card of you looking at your future self how do you want to develop this this lifestyle right so there's a lot of ways you can go with that with that seven of cups so i feel like there's a new beginning i want something new i want to work towards it um i can go in different different paths but i want to choose the right one because i kind of want to see where i'm going to be in the next you know five years right um so that's the energy i'm picking up interesting that's really i'm going to take those all right so let's see the potential outcome here for pisces the potential outcome for pisces I kind of just picked up reading it this way because I don't know if like some of you guys may want to may have been wanting to see tarot how to how I read it maybe something like that and I wanted to come out with the video with like how to read tarot and stuff but I'm like if I kind of read it this way you can kind of start seeing how the flow goes right and hopefully you know I would recommend 
you know, to when you do get a deck is to, you know, you do want to read read through it, but 90% of everything here is all intuition. So, um, but, the, you know, if I show you how this kind of goes, you know, maybe it's going to help because you should be able to pull your cards and you'll have your energy there, right? So you do have the Seven of Wands as your potential outcome here. Now, the Seven of Wands is an energy you can see here. She's just to herself. She's content. She's taking care of her. This is, uh, you know, her health, male or female, doesn't matter just focusing on you. And you can see her head is turned away. She is not looking at all these wands coming towards her, right? So, um, and this could be communication, this could be noise, this could be negativity, this is gossip. This is stuff that has been holding you back, right? So your, your outcome here is like you standing in this energy of creating something new. Focus, queen of wands energy. I feel like you're just kind of more into let's create something, right? Death, Scorpio energy here. This is ending old cycles and beginning new cycles here for you. So Pisces, I do feel like there is going to be a new opportunity that comes in for you. And again, it doesn't have to be in regards to finances. Maybe this is just you focusing on your home or yourself. And I feel like you're going to be choosing on to making or choosing to make these changes that focus more towards your happiness and health and i feel like it also in turn uh improves your home life and financial stability so it's like this shift that kind of is a domino effect that uh you know things start clicking together here for you okay i feel like you're having dreams or you're using your intuition here and with that six of cups again there's a sense of reflection uh, you know looking back at your journey maybe even looking back at things you've done to where you know you've learned some sort of lessons here um, that's why the seven of cups is there too because it's like you've learned lessons so you have so many options you can move towards but you know because you you're more knowledgeable now you know what options or what direction you shouldn't go into right and you have the full there and and i don't know if i said this in your video but you can see you know she's she's kind of at the edge of the cliff the cliff here and she's she's fallen back right and this is you know the the universe that that is she's jumping into right she doesn't know where she's going to go she doesn't know how this is going to turn out but she's she's excited she's looking at that and saying you know what wherever this goes i know spiritually I'm connected. I have a, I've awakened, right? These are two cards of being spiritually awakened, too. And there's an energy here. She's on her right hand. She has that wand. She's like, I'm going to tackle this new beginning. I have my wand for protection. I have my crystal here. And you can see it's purple. And that's also a purple crystal is about getting in touch with your spiritual side, right? Having trust, having faith that things are going to work out here. So I feel like you're going to be getting into that energy or you're going to be just feeling more confident in yourself and your decisions here okay I, I i it's like it's like you've changed you you really went from being this person that maybe you know i'm not even gonna get far into it but maybe you've you've, you've been taken advantage of for so long and now because you're focusing on yourself it's like you're not being selfish but it's also attracting good energy to come towards you because again three of cups is soul tribe energy all right so so what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, big shift here. I like it. So if this resonates for you, please do hit that like button and um, leave a comment if you want to. And um, and I'll be coming out with some bonus readings here for you guys. And let me get you an oracle and we'll close this out. Let's see. We have the jackal coming out here. Number 44. And it, you know, it does mean truth here, but... Let's see, I remember this one says something about death, and I it's kind of like death to ego type of deal, right? So I'll read it over here. Oops. One more. All right, here we go. So the jackal, it means truth. Um, is being authentic is important. Live your true uh live in your truth fearlessly. Someone around you is not telling you the truth. Do not fear what you cannot control. We will always leave a legacy. So, so you should consider what this might be for you. Death is a part of life, all right? So, you know, when I say death is a part of life, that is true. And, and I feel like also death of, you know, your old self is something that, you know, we do kind of often as well. But, you know, I kind of, I'm looking at this, uh, you know, someone around you and I want to go back on what I was saying here. If there's, there's an opportunity or something new here for you to look into, I, I do I do still pick up to to make sure you look into something. Um, don't get tricked into something here because I feel like that could be a negative impact 
with your ten of pentacles and your foundation okay so i read it as more of you guys moving forward but it's this choice right because you have that seven of cups here and then they have the moon here right so this could be something about illusions and secrets and something you don't see so i want to make sure you understand that 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 could be something so just be sure to look into it that's all i got to say all right pisces that is your reading and uh until next time we'll see you you guys have a good one